Hi everybody, uh, we apologize, we had technical issues and for this reason we had, a, we had to switch link and we had to switch page, but now we're here. Welcome to the Moroso showroom in Milan. We are very happy to present today the latest collaboration with Gabriele and Oscar Buratti, which is the library, uh, the bookshelf, sorry, you see behind us, which is called Frame Sheet. So, Gabriele, thank you very much for being with us today. Gabriele is the co-founder and the co-creative director of Architetti Buratti, together with his brother Oscar. They are, um, I would say, a typical Italian example of how we work with architecture and how from architecture design sprouts in a very natural way. They do um, both interior and exterior architecture, residential, for public areas, and many different types of uh, scenarios and situations. And this is what we were looking for, uh, to create something that um, could go and give an extra added value to, and personality to our, especially to our residential uh, spaces and offerings. So again, thank you very much for your work and for being here with us today. Thank you to you, Andrea. I'm very happy to be here. It was from uh, one of the showrooms in Milan. I'm happy to present uh, to show you our new project for the Rosa frame sheet system. We're going to share the presentation with you now. Uh, so that you can have a bit of a better grasp of everything that stood behind the development of this project that started, well, relatively not so long ago. It was quite a quick process in the development. So please uh, feel free to start and go ahead with the, with the presentation. Yeah. Uh, the briefing of this project was very clear at the beginning. Uh, we have to, to do, to design a shelving system for Moroso, the shelving system important is like a, the beginning for the Moroso about the system of the furniture. Uh, and uh, this project uh, has, to, has to be transversal to the other, uh, to all the collection of uh, the Moroso, to the other products, sofa, armchairs, table and chairs and so on. And uh, then to complete the, the, uh, the idea that uh, the Moroso team as in this uh, moment, that is the Stanze Moroso, the Moroso rooms, uh, where uh, we can present uh, all the uh, space of the, uh, the Moroso full of products, and where this uh, uh, system could uh, uh, create the space, the, the, the interior architecture for these products. This is the, the briefing. And uh, for us, it was very important the flexibility of this project because we have uh, not designed not design only one piece but a system uh, where the flexibility is about uh, the composition but about also the typology of the position of the design of the composition. Uh, we start thinking uh, about three. Uh, ideas. One is the horizontality of the line, very important for us, for the architecture. Uh, the second is the composition for by uh, vertical overlapping of simple elements. The third is uh, the magic of movement. The sliding door are uh, uh, one of the uh, most important things. And uh, uh, it's important to underline that uh, it's a simple uh, system by, uh, uh, made by uh, only three basic elements, you know. Uh, the first is uh, the shelf. The shelf is very, very important. Uh, it's a, a wooden shelf that we want to have uh, uh, a special material for this shelf that we can overlap in vertical. Uh, the shelf has a, a special edge and the, on the both sides. This is very important. Then the second one is a super thin metal box, very thin, very, very thin. That is uh, uh, the vertical spacer of the shelf is, uh, and uh, is a stabilizer. Very important for the stability of this uh, system. So it's, they're both an aesthetic feature and a structural feature. So yeah, sure. we can say that in the whole system, every element plays an important role, an important part, 
not only in defining the, the, what is characteristic about the piece, but it's also a structural element. So we went yeah, down sure. to reduce it to its very essence, right? Sure. Uh, this is a, a way that we, we design uh, interior uh, products and so on to, to find the, the idea and then to reveal this idea at the, uh, at the, the core of the art. Uh, then the, uh, it's very easy to put together, to assemble together uh, all the, the pieces, uh, the shelf with uh, the, 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 the space on together. Uh, the, the one of the two very, very important uh, of the process is the edge of the shelf. Uh, we put uh, in both sides uh, a special edge, uh, edge that uh, we design with a particular uh, sensor. This is an, an extruded aluminum uh, guide uh, that, is, uh, that has uh, really important uh, uh, to solve three important uh, questions. The first is aesthetical, because it reduces the thickness of the, 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 the shelf. The second is uh, about uh, the elegance, uh, but the special elegance that is uh, the technical element of the piece. And the third is functional, because uh, this is the rail where the doors can slide. So it's an extruded element that is basically uh, as the, the whole length, so the whole width, sorry, the 250 centimeters, yeah. and is repeated all the way from the bottom to the top. So mm -hmm. we can overlap on both sides yeah, sure. and have shelves yeah. on both sides and on every single level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the, the third element is the door. Mm -hmm. The door that is not only the door, but it's all, also the back, because the, this system uh, is born uh, double face, double sides, because uh, uh, you can put uh, the, the you can see this uh, uh, this program, this image. Uh, the edge is in both sides, and you can put uh, the door on the back in the both sides. For this reason, you can put the, sh the system, the, the unit, uh, in the center, double face, or on the ground. This is quite important. It's very important. And uh, uh, you can choose also, and uh, you can choose also where to put this uh, unit inside of your domestic space. For example, A is uh, uh, on the on the wall, B is uh, behind the sofa, C in the center of the space, uh, D in the dining room uh, uh, on the wall. So it's a, 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 a piece of furniture, a system that. You you can put inside of your house, in the living room, in the bedroom, in the studio area, or also in other situation, like in an hotel, or in a lounge, in a restaurant, using it like a divider or on the wall. And this is because it's also possible, to, this is the full height, what we have yeah. here, but depending on the use you're making, you can, you know, like you were saying, if it's uh, against the wall next to a dining table, perhaps you'd be looking at, I don't know, the two uh, yeah, levels, sure. and then instead if it's against the wall in a bedroom, it could be one, it can be a TV holder as well. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Because uh, this question of uh, overlapping simple elements uh, concerns to you to have uh, four different heights with two shelves, three shelves, four and five shelves like this. Uh, it's interesting that it's uh, absolutely easy to put together the elements that you, during the life of the product, you can change uh, the configuration, you can change the composition of this, uh, this uh, the system. Uh, and uh, the other things, the other uh, things in how many, uh, how many, uh, how many uh, doors do you want to put in, uh, in your, uh, in your uh, composition? Mm -hmm. you, you can choose uh, on one, two, three, four, and so on. And uh, you can choose the number, you can choose the position, and you can uh, modify the number and the position during the life of the, 
the, the, the, the tool itself. For example, uh, with two shelters, you can have uh, a, 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 a low cabinet for the TV against the wall. Or you can, in the center, you can have a, a low divider from the dining room uh, on the back of the sofa, for example. With uh, three, three shelves, uh, you can have a, a, a sideboard, like this, uh, a sideboard in front of uh, the table in the dining room, or a low divider from uh, the dining room, uh, the living room, for example. And go, go ahead, you can have a a big, a big piece with uh, or without doors that you can put as a divider or as a bookcase on the wall. So for, for us, and then uh, for us it's important uh, this uh, flexibility, strong flexibility, and uh, you then you can put together also pieces with different height. So for us it's very important that uh, this uh, flexibility concerns to the customer directly to uh, interpret the system uh, in a personal way. We can say that one of the big challenges was how to play with this, uh, with the shifting part of the frame shift. And it was quite challenging to build a mechanism that was both uh, universal, so to say, that could work with glass, that could work, we're going to go into the materials a little bit later, but also that could be easily taken off and moved to an upper shelf, to a lower shelf, or used back and forth in, in the front or in the back of the, of the unit. So it was, there were a few technical challenges in, in, in yeah. finalizing the project as well, right? It's interesting in my opinion because you, you cannot see the technical part, but there is a, a very strong design about this. It's very, very important to solve, for us it's very, mm -hmm. very important to solve the technical part and to transform the technical part in quality, like the, like the rail. The rail is a, a very important technical part with a design very sophisticated, but it's also the, the aesthetical part. It's a, in our work, it's a very important to mix together these two Western values. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a so challenge that is often posed in architecture, right? To be practical and functional without giving up on the aesthetics and making sure that the two sure. add value to each other. One thing that is very fascinating is that the actual rail in the end is exactly how you designed it during the concept phase. Yeah. So it, it's very interesting how there was a direct connection between. So you had the project very clear in mind yeah, when, sure. you, when you finished, when, uh, when you proposed it. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, the other uh, important thing is that the project is open. Mm -hmm. It's open to change uh, and to add uh, uh, finishes, uh, materiality, and so on. Because we, we are thinking with uh, Patricia Moroso and the uh, Moroso uh, team uh, that uh, this system could be a, a, a long life uh, piece uh, inside of the collection and where we can add and change uh, finishes, colors uh, uh, to put this uh, system uh, in a, a very important position inside of the collection of the Moroso. It corresponds uh, at the vision and the philosophy and the, 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 the all uh, the, the Moroso history and tradition. Uh, I would like to, uh, but uh, remember, uh, first, uh, the system is a bookcase, book so you can move uh, the system without that. It is something that you can think about as units that come together because the, the structure you have a base and you have a top, yeah. which is of course don't have the allocation for the for the holders, let's say. So you can actually start from the basic, then add yeah. a level, yeah. add a, um, yeah. a door to the front, to the back, and then change material over time. So it yeah. is something that you can actually build up and, and make your own because yeah. Well, we normalize it and we try to make it um, as palatable as possible to make it uh, easy to understand the piece, but potentially, of course, you can go as high as you yeah. physically can because the structure, actually, it is a, is a piece that is very solid. It's very, yeah. The structural elements are very resistant and they're very, they keep the, the, the bookshelf very fixed together. Yeah. 
I think so. It's, uh, uh, now, when we when see the, 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 final, the final piece, it's very strong. Uh, the, the other question is, uh, you know, the, the, the materiality and the, the finishing of, uh, of the, the system. Uh, before we thought that it was very important the, the, the value of the materials and the value of the shell, the finishes, the finish of the shell. Once it's very, very important. So we decided to have a, a wooden shell. We chose for, for now two kinds of wood. Uh, two kind of uh, ugly wood. One is black, special black that mixed together uh, uh, two different kind of black, and then a rose wood, uh, uh, ugly, that is uh, more traditional. Uh, with this uh, uh, color of uh, the shirt, we can mix together uh, other five finishes uh, about the door and the back. But you can also mix together. And uh, have uh, two or three colors different. Uh, in particular, we have two finish, uh, finish uh, glossy, black and white, a special white, two opaque uh, colors, uh, and uh, gray, and then one in glass. Mm -hmm. It's a special glass, a soft store glass, it's, it's like a, a, a little mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, quite It's uh, important uh, uh, the system uh, when you see, you see the photos, you can understand that it's uh, like a, we, we want to play with full and heavy, open and close, and uh, to see through uh, the, 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 the unit. So you can decide how much open the space can be, how much closed, if you want to see through it, or there, you want to have something that creates a bit of a block and hides something from you. And another thing that was interesting, and I'm slightly anticipating something we might be talking about uh, later on, but it's, it is a, a, an object that works on contrast a little bit, because also with materials, we have wood for the shelves, which is quite warm, and then we have the metal for the structure and for the rail, and then we have uh, the um, black and white uh, lucid glossy finishes for the, for the doors as well as glass, which are quite cold, and then we have warmth again in the lacquered version. So, and together, all of this is quite, um, it, it works really well. We saw it in, um, last week we had a shooting in, in our factory and we could see how the, the, the rigid structure of the library was really working very well in contrast with the roundness and the softness of, of our pieces that traditionally are very organic, they're very soft and very rounded. And, and I like the, what we like very much about this piece is that how you played with color and how, how you somehow got some of the morals award inside this project, also in the selection of that specific white, that specific black, the pink, the light gray, and how colors can actually be the touch point and the, and the elements that bring light as well, especially with the mirroring uh, glass finish. Uh, we, we worked a lot with uh, Patricia Moroz about uh, this question, the question of uh, difference. Mm. Uh, because uh, I think that uh, the Moroz collection is uh, a mix of difference. And this is the quality of the, this brand. This is the quality of the relationship uh, uh, with uh, Patricia and uh, all the you, because uh, we, we, we have to find a, a, a way to go inside and to, to, to mix together different style, different uh, pieces, uh, but the, with the capability of uh, Patricia Moroso is, is uh, how to mix together with quality. This is, uh, this is uh, the, the thing that uh, I think is the best in, in Morozo, the capability to mix together different different products. That's uh, an interesting, uh, well, thank you for adding that because it's, it's actually something that has been quite a challenge, you know, especially now that we are approaching more and more the residential world, and that's why your role came to be uh, very relevant into adding value to the space. And, we were actually looking for someone to, to give us a, a view and a different angle. And actually seeing the possibility of keep on working with, uh, in a natural way with people, like you said correctly, as a matter of personal relationship. And we all bring our personality in the process that we put together. And that was quite interesting to see how the two realities that we talked about these pieces as a very architectural piece. 
at the same time. He is, he is divine at the same time. So it's not something that you need to give up on something to add something else. And you don't have to compromise on a way of approaching a project to follow necessarily a, a design idea, so to say. Another thing interesting is the, the, the name of mm. the system. Uh, if uh, Patricia, you want to underline uh, the, um, the architectural approach of this uh, system, uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, structure, as we have said before, but also the, the sequencing and the, the movement. So the plane sheet, uh, uh, as was correctly uh, described, the this, uh, this system uh, that uh, you can imagine uh, in a uh, different architecture in the, the marketplace. We did a few shots that we wanted to, to, to show you. So, how we, so the concept is born in this way, right? Yeah, the, right? The pure, let's say, architectural structure, and then you can build up. Yeah. For, for us, uh, it's very important. Uh, Structure to control the proportion. Mm -hmm. Proportion for us is uh, very important. We, we, we have to reduce the distance of the sight, uh, we have to work uh, of the, the dimension of the space. Uh, we work a lot about uh, minimum movement to, to do a, a perfect uh, structure. Then we can add uh, the mesh. Sliding door and sliding backs mm -hmm. to do a composition as we want. And for me, it's interesting that after the company, after the meeting, the company and the customer can change, can personalize, can uh, interpret uh, the project. Choosing out of the doors, which colors, and so where to put the doors, and so on. Because after the project, uh, the customer is important because the space is the customer of the, 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 the people that you want to buy. It needs to, to reflect the personality, the yeah, idea so they have about the so space, and we all change ideas and taste and colors that we like and things that we like. So I think at the end that this project is open to um, improve, to grow it up during the life, during the time, probably next year we will about colors uh, or uh, finishes. Uh, and I heard a conversation about well. using fabrics as well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, I don't want to speak about this, <laughs> but uh, you, you, you call that this. But we are discussing about fabric and about other materials to change the door and to, 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 um, to, to, to have a, a, a long life of this, uh, of this project. It's an evolving project, yeah. not something that yeah. is just. Close Finish. chapter and then we move on. Uh, now is the starting point. Okay. To go ahead. And here, for example, it's so different the, the, the image before and this one. Uh, but uh, if uh, we, we go to the next, uh, you can see that uh, it's enough to move one door and try to the composition change and the uh, move. So it's the, uh, the, the movement that is very, very important for this uh, project, I think. And I think that probably you can change uh, during the day, during the weeks, uh, you can change the, the situation. It's quite interesting because it's like a job. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a playful, it's the magical aspect of the, of the collection and the project for sure. I think so. And then we can arrive to compose some uh, composition of uh, very uh, interesting for the living room, for example, like this. We have a bookcase, a part full of uh, for the, uh, the door, and then a place for the TV, for example. But uh, I think that this uh, a simple system with uh, a, a strong flexibility to control composition in the next step. The last is uh, uh, the, the, the photo that I prefer because it's clear here uh, how uh, the, the, the system, our system, can mix and match together uh, 
Paris, the Moros were uh, uh, the other Moros for difference and for um, other military zones. Uh, I'm very happy about uh, this situation because this is, I think, the best time for the the Moros will be as well the Moros. Yeah, it is. And it's something that we were discussing before as well. Stanza is a project that for us started back in 2003 with the idea of having things that were coming from our portfolio, which is made by creations by designers from you know, all over the world, different backgrounds and stories and cultures and so on. And it, it's the richness of uh, what Moros has been doing for the past uh, 30 years or so. And it's something that is, at times, is seen as complicated. Because it's you know you need to have a special sensibility to be able to put all these elements together, and what we also need so that's what we started in 2003, and the project developed and evolved in April this year. We presented the latest version of Stanze, and a system like this was actually what was missing to create and define and give the proper backdrop, backdrop, and give the proper um, create that, that feeling of Stanza, creating the feeling of a room and environment that. Um, it is fully defined. So that, that was very, and it's an element that is very, very important for us and the work that you've done is definitely uh, fundamental in the process and, uh, and what we are uh, building here at, at Moroso. And we're very, very happy about how you managed to get into the, our heads and our, and our mind and not only our, our portfolio and how you managed to play with color and understanding that, as we can see in this image, these, the colors and the elements, the movement, is what really adds value and makes the, the whole project really immediate. An image like this is representing the Moroso world and the Moroso stands in, in a very beautiful way and very immediate way. So we're very, very happy about that, the work we've done together. Thank you um, all, of course, for, for joining us. We're really sorry for, for the delay and for the technical issues that we have. Uh, of course, you know where to find us. You will uh, be sharing more materials and more content on our social media. And of course, you will be, if you will have the possibility to come and see us in September, we'll be here with Frameshift. Gabriele, of course, will be joining us as well. And we'll be happy to welcome you again here in our showroom in Milan. Thank you again so much Thank and you. have a great day. Thank you.